Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to read lines from a text file in Python. So at this point you should already know about how to open and write to a uh, file from Python. Uh, so I'm not really going to go over what I'm doing right now. But uh, what I'm going to be telling you while I uh, do this is that what you're going to want to do when you're reading uh, bytes and lines from a um, file is that if you're going to read like this a byte um, one byte is a letter so if you do two bytes it's going to read the first two letters of the file and as you can see here our file is this is line one this is line two this is line three with a tab space um, and new line and then well this is a new line and a tab space but you get the point. So if we read um, three, we will get t h i, t h i. But now if we do files dot read, and then we don't specify, it should read the rest of it, and it leaves off where we stopped. So if you read all of these um, bytes before, it won't read them a second time. So once you re read the entire thing, um, you will no longer get anything into your uh, um, output so you'd have to close and reopen um, and also you can do files dot read uh, lines and if you do that you'll be able to see this is line one this is line two this is line three and it will put them into a list which is mutable. Um, yeah, I guess that's the right term. Um, and it'll split each of them with a comma. So if we close this again, we will actually uh, find something when we write with this. Because you can do more than just um, read lines, you can also write lines. Files dot uh, write lines. And then it says write line sequences, sequence of strings, none write the string to the file. Anyways, so if we do this is line one backslash n, this is line two backslash n backslash t, this is line three. And that will write that so if we do uh, this one again and files dot read you'll see something well that's ignore that's just because I accidentally hit that with my pinky but we get all of that and if we close this because I forgot we have to uh, close it after we wrote to it in order for it to uh, actually save. Um, now if we files.read ah, you get the exact same thing. So even though they are different functions it doesn't change it. And if you do, well now we have to close it again that's the downside of Python, by the way, that you guys may have noticed by now, is that you gotta keep doing that. So, if we read like files dot uh, read lines, and then we specify like 100, we don't really even get anything from reading those lines, and we just get a list. Um, as you can see, though we get the exact same list. So there's multiple ways of doing the same thing. You can use write lines or write and either way you'll end up with the same thing. And if we do files dot close and then we open this up so that we can write to it and we do files dot read like that we can't read 
it's not open for reading. So that's a nice little thing to know about Python. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, delete files and go into a little bit, a little more depth of how to do that and special things about it. So thank you guys for watching. Comment with any questions. Uh, subscribe if you want to watch the uh, newer videos and like the video if you liked it. Thanks for watching.